everyone, my name is Kyra and today we'll be cooking with tea pack. So let's get started. For the first part of our assignment, we needed to have someone come into our kitchen and pick a plate, a bowl, and a cooking utensil for us. However, I do live alone and my building is empty for the summer so I don't have anybody in here. I do have a four-legged roommate and she wasn't very helpful with this. I did a poll on my Instagram and then I waited about 12 hours to see the results. So if you look at the results on the screen, you will see I had them vote from four different bowls, four different plates, four different cooking utensils. So I don't really have a lot of kitchen supplies because I do live alone and I primarily eat like the same thing <laughs> every week. So I didn't have much for options, but they did vote. As you can see, this is the bowl that was chosen for me and they chose this plate and then a whisk was my cooking utensil. The next part of our assignment, we need to figure out what our task is. We have our tools, but we need to figure out our task. So in this bowl, I have one through four on pieces of paper. So I'm going to randomly draw, and I got number three, which is make a sandwich of your choice. So I need to make a sandwich of my choice using this plate, this bowl, and this whisk. For our sandwich options, I have bread, I have ham, cheese, mustard, I don't have any lettuce. Um, but I have peanut butter and jelly, so I think we're going to try to do a peanut butter and jelly sandwich using these tools. We'll be using this Sara Lee bread, Jif peanut butter, and strawberry jelly. A peanut butter and jelly sandwich is something that I actually eat pretty often. Um, like I said, I don't have a lot of dishes, like that kind of thing. So, we're going to grab our bread, and I'm going to put the bread on the plate because that makes the most sense. As I was grabbing the other ingredients, I really wanted to grab a knife out of the drawer, like out of habit. So I had to stop myself from doing that. All right, so I brought you down to the bread's eye view and we're gonna figure this out. So normally I would do peanut butter on one side and jelly on the other side. So we're gonna go ahead and do that. I'm thinking I'm gonna take my peanut butter. It's super empty. So that gives me a disadvantage because I have to somehow use this to get it out of the bottom. If it was right on the top, that might've been easier. I really want a knife or a spoon or anything, but we're just gonna do this. I really don't know which end to use. I'm thinking this one, but I don't know if it's gonna grab a lot. So we're just gonna try it. didn't grab as much as I would have wanted, so I'm gonna try the other side. That grabbed a lot more. Okay, so now we have to get it out. That's quite a lot. Okay, can we spread it with this? Not really. Got that on there. Now I'm gonna use my bowl to spread this. Okay, that worked really well. That's perfect, okay. All right, so while I was at a disadvantage with the peanut butter being pretty empty, I have an advantage that this is a squeezy bottle. So I really just have to worry about spreading it out, which now I know I can use the bowl. All right, so let's talk a breakdown of the tools that we had to use today. The plate, I just used it for its function. 
to give myself a workspace and I feel like it gave me a sense of comfort with the discomfort of using the other items. When it came to the whisk, it worked better than I thought it would for getting it out, um, this end. This end didn't do really anything, um, but it was a little difficult to get it out. The whole time I really wished that I had a knife to spread it on, but honestly using the edge of this bowl was faster than a knife. And honestly, it gave more of an even coverage of the bread. With this activity, I would say it really shows how important it is to have the right tools to something. Um, just because you have a tool doesn't mean that you're at an advantage. If it's not the correct tool, you need to get the job done. And it also gives you a learning curve. If you are afraid to try new things, for example, like trying the end of the whisk, if it doesn't work, you could be discouraged and then it could take you even longer to find a solution. I feel like this connects to my personal life and my professional position because a lot of the times I'm thinking, how can I give this information to students in a more effective way? What tools can I use? And sometimes I'm just using what I know. Whether that's a PowerPoint or an online quiz or something, while it is a tool, it may not be the best tool for giving that information to my students. So I think exploring different options and trying it first, trial and error, um, making sure that your students aren't afraid to try new things so that you can kind of figure it out together would be a great solution. Oh, this was possible. Some of it was even better than traditional tools, but some of it just wasn't quite right. I could use a spatula next time. It doesn't have to be a knife, but something that is the right tool may make the job easier to accomplish. Thank you for watching my cooking with Pack video. If you have any additional questions about Pack, I've left some resources in my blog. You can reach out to me on my Twitter here. Thank you and have a wonderful day. I'm going to go eat this sandwich now.